This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Greg Hurst, Roz Abrams, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. And now, this woman has a beautiful smile, but for this woman, it only happened after a dramatic new type of surgery that corrected a defect in her jaw. Dr. Jay Andersberg explains when we come back. Reconstructive surgery to make people more attractive is commonplace. Now, however, there is a new jaw reconstructive surgery that not only makes you look better, but it makes your jaw work better. Seven on Call's Dr. Jay Adlersberg joins us now with details. Jay. Well, it's up to about 15% of people have problems that would respond to this type of surgery, and we're not just talking plastic surgery. This is reconstructive surgery to improve the function of the jaw and the mouth as well as their appearance. Now there's no more than a smile, and I really, really love it. Hyacinth Steer is now quite beautiful with a lustrous smile and a dramatic profile, but she wasn't born that way. This is what Hyacinth used to look like. She had what's called long face syndrome, where the jaw bones grow too much. You know, I used to usually cover my mouth when I smile, and um, I really didn't like it. Reconstructive surgeon Derek Antel corrected Hyacinth's appearance using a kind of holistic approach to jaw surgery. I think in the past, people tended to look at just the chin or maybe just the nose, we really try to take the whole face in consideration. New surgical techniques use tiny screws and plates. There's no wired shut jaw afterward. Incisions are made through the mouth. There are no external scars. No artificial parts are used. I was able to remove some bone from here and move Hyacinth's upper jaw up and back. The lower jaw was also moved back by cutting along here, and the chin was slid forward just like this to balance it. This kind of reconstructive facial surgery can also be done for facial bones which are underdeveloped. Now, would you slide it back where it was? Kathy was born with an overbite. And it affects my um, chewing of my food, and I, I find it um, affecting my speech a little bit. Now, in Kathy's case, what I'll be doing is sliding the entire jaw forward, and I may also be sliding her chin forward to give her a stronger profile and tighten the neck muscles here. The mouth functions better. In Kathy's case, her teeth will be able to meet and she'll be able to bite into a sandwich. There's also the aesthetic advantage. The patients generally look better. A lot of people, they're not quite sure what I did. They just say, you know, you look a little bit different. What happened? And I, and I said, nothing. Well, almost nothing. Hyacinth's type of surgery required a couple of days in the hospital, just a couple, and very little discomfort with recovery. In other types of surgery, patients can go home and even eat on the same day. Wow. Yeah. That works. It does work indeed.